Welcome to Symbirian. We develop and distribute Symbior electromagnetic signal integrity software. This is a demo of electromagnetic fields and current density computation uh, for a strip line segment in Symbior THD software. So, uh, segment is um, a symmetrical uh, strip line between two planes. Uh, dielectric is Mectron 6, um, uh, defined as wide band Debye. Uh, copper uh, is regular copper, conductive copper, no roughness. This is stack up 7 mil transmission line, 1.2 uh, mil thick. So, uh, the problem is solved with uh, Symbior 3DTF field solver. Uh, and um, uh, it takes uh, less than a minute to do this and let's take a look uh, per frequency point. Let's take a look at the fields, pre-computed fields. Let's first take a look at the electric field and 100 kilohertz. The electric field is excited at this end and uh, absorbed at this end uh, of the segment uh, and uh, with one volt uh, connected in series with 50 ohm with uh, uh, array of current sources on this end and was um, loaded on this end, terminated at the other end. So this is the uh, electric field in uh, volt per meter at every single point, uh, arrow length and color corresponds to different values of the electric field strength. So let's take a look at magnetic field. Magnetic field, we can see uh, if electric field was uh, relatively localized here, Magnetic field is uh, kind of um, all over the place and the reason is um, because of uh, planes do not shield it at those frequencies and uh, we can see uh, we can eliminate those transitional area actually just to avoid um, to make picture clear only at the area where um, TM wave propagation takes place. So, um, this magnetic field with the electric field together, this is just separately magnetic field, it circles around them, and this is current density in, on logarithmic scale. So, we can see that fair amount of current flowing through uh, side walls. Side walls here are electric walls, and um, uh, top and bottom walls are magnetic walls and do not allow current, but you can see a lot of surface current flowing on both sides of the planes. And this is logarithmic scale relative uh, in dB relative to maximal current which is in the center of the, uh, in, on the conductor, on the trace itself. This is uh, uh, volumeric current. Um, the previous one was surface, this is volumeric current. Uh, through the conductor and on the plane, so we can see that um, uh, the current is zero at those um, cuts here, uh, but if you extend this area it will extend to a uh, very large area, essentially at 100 kilohertz may flow through the whole board, but this is it's not important for signal integrity, but it, right here we can see how it goes. Uh, 10 megahertz, again, electric field, zoom in, magnetic field, right here magnetic field is more localized, so it's shielded, more or less shielded with the planes, and this is electric field and magnetic field, this is uh, magnetic field separately current density, again on dB scale, relative to the largest uh, current. And we can see, clearly see this uh, kind of right hand thumb rule here, how magnetic field circles around those surface currents here. Separately, current density. And if we make conductor less transparent, we can still see the currents flowing on the other side of the plane. And that's also clearly visible if you take a s this look, so we can see the currents flowing here and here on the opposite side of the on side view. 
can see currents flow in the actually opposite direction here. But most of the current localized uh, now around the trace and we can clearly see it on the current density computed and we can see uh, that uh, there is a beginning of skin effect that current is uh, larger current flowing on the surface and on the edges and we can see this uh, proximity effect on the planes and now we can see it uh, from the side from here you can see that the current is um, lagging behind on the walls and from the top one gigahertz electric filters pretty much structure is pretty much the same now we see more wave-like behavior, but uh, magnetic field and electric field. Just magnetic field in amperes per meter. Current density, surface current density in, uh, and this is in dB relative to maximal current density. And right here we have current density largest at the edges. So uh, when we see this graph, this averages is on the edge. Uh, if we cut um, and um, compute the current density in the cross section, we'll see a further structure of this uh, larger currents at the edges and then um, kind of uh, smaller currents in, in the middle of the conductor and also more proximity effect and current uh, kind of lagging behind due to skin effect here. And just regular view on linear scale it looks like this. So you can barely see any penetration in the conductor here. But on logarithmic scale it's exaggerated. Uh, well developed skin effect 30 gigahertz electric field now we can clearly see wave propagating about quarter of wavelengths here and um, magnetic field just magnetic field magnetic field and surface current density current density in a cross section and, and current density uh, surface and, and in cross section simultaneously current density in just cross section on, on db scale doesn't get through the conductor now so we can clearly see that um, everything is localized very well developed skin effect and finally let's take a look at power flow at uh, 100 kilohertz and again it's db scale just to be able to see it top top view this is too short segment for 100 kilohertz to have kind of established wave and still want to uh, get to the larger area here but we can see that most of the energy propagates along the strip 10 megahertz and if you zoom in we can see that the mo most of the power uh, is propagating in the vicinity of the strip right here the, where the colors are red and yellow and uh, 1 gigahertz more localization of the power we can see so it's a kind of the area where and uh, where, where we see blue and no blue arrows it's minus 50 dB drop from the uh, maximal power propagating somewhere along the edges over here this is the end of this demo to learn more visit simbirian.com application notes 
um, webinars and knowledge base sections. Or download and try SimViewer now. It is available in download section. Thank you.